Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. She sees no reason why Chelsea and Adam's relationship shouldn't end in heartbreak again, because it didn't work out in the past. Chelsea might be willing to take the chance if Adam and Chelsea were to endure that suffering alone. Chelsea is attempting to take Connor Newman's welfare into consideration here, though, as he and Adam also have him to consider. It would be awful to raise Connor's expectations for a reunion just to let them down later. Chelsea doesn't want to put their son through that since Connor would be distraught if Adam and Chelsea's attempt to reconcile didn't work out. Given how well Connor has been recovering, it makes sense that Chelsea would want to keep him safe and not upset anyone. Adam has, however, reassured Chelsea that if he didn't believe in their future together, he wouldn't be pressing for this. Maybe Adam might present a new marriage proposal and an engagement ring as evidence of his confidence. This time around, Adam might make a huge wedding push and ask Chelsea if she'll marry him. Perhaps Adam will believe that a lifelong commitment could soothe Chelsea's concerns. Adam might restate that Chelsea only needs to decide to follow her heart and get married to him again. Naturally, if Connor discovers the engagement ring in advance and questions Adam, things may become tangled. However, while this possible proposal is underway, Connor might happen to walk around the corner and see Adam pop the question. In any event, the prospect of Chelsea and Adam finalizing their reunion may delight Connor. Any marriage suggestions for Adam and Chelsea could give Connor optimism, as he is hoping for his parents to reconcile. Adam's popular article on Billy Abbott upset Chelsea, but she will eventually move past it. As he pursues Chelsea, Adam might be able to win her forgiveness. We'll see how far Adam will go to prove they're a good fit because our Y and R forecasts suggest he won't give up on a future with Chelsea. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Adam may eventually be able to win Chelsea over, so keep checking back for any updates on any potential engagement news. Monday, October 28 Young, and the Restless spoilers reveal some significant events to begin a new week in Geno City. An alley saves someone's life, a mother experiences a breakdown, and someone worries about their friend's sobriety. What sort of drama is Monday going to bring? It's time to get started. According to Y and R spoilers for Monday, October 28, Nicky Newman will visit Jack Abbott at the Abbott House. He is about to reveal on Friday's broadcast that he and his wife, Diane Abbott, have broken up. During the Friday, October 25 episode, Diane revealed the details of her divorce to Nikki and Victor Newman when they ran into each other at the GCSC. Given that she is concerned about Jack's sobriety during this crisis, it appears that Mickey will check in on him. Spoilers for Young and the Restless Monday, October 28. Rescue efforts, Mama Bear meltdown, and sobriety concerns. Should anyone be concerned that Jack will turn to medications to relieve the agony, even though he will probably attempt to allay Nikki's worries? Wine and R spoilers for the Monday, October 28 episode suggest that the show will pick up where it left off before the weekend. As Daniel Romolati bid farewell to Lucy Romolati at the close of Friday's episode, fans will remember that Chancellor arrived at the GCSC. To keep Lucy away from all the drama in town, the father sent his teenage daughter to accompany his father, Danny Romolati, on his global tour. Phyllis Summers was present, of course, at the very moment Chance informed Daniel that he was being arrested for the murder of Heather Stevens. According to the further previews for Monday's show, Phyllis will completely lose it when Chance arrests Daniel, that is, until an unidentified heroine enters the room. According to Monday's Y and R previews, when Phyllis is going crazy, Christine Blair will enter GSAC's revolving door and announce that she is there as Daniel's official legal representative, much to Red's surprise. Is Christine able to make this better for Daniel? Get him out on bail, at least. To discover out, fans will need to tune in. Fans are reminded by Young and the Restless spoilers to always be prepared for the unexpected in Genoa City. 
Fans are still in shock over Heather Stevens' death at the moment. Although viewers believe Sharon Newman is not responsible for the murder, she attempted to conceal Heather's death during an intense altercation. Since Sharon blacked out during the entire incident, it is likely that an unidentified killer is at large. Regarding the murderer, Spoilers may the show totally the mislead viewers. Soap's love changing up characters. Fans are reminded by Y and R spoilers that Chance Chancellor is one of the good guys in GC, but the soap opera likes nothing more than to switch up the characters' personas. Sharon would be a good illustration of this. By attempting to conceal Heather's death at one point, disposing of her body in the river, and manipulating the situation by texting Heather's loved ones, the former heroine has been entangled in this plot. She is now accusing Daniel Romilati of murder. These aren't precisely what a heroine would do. The same could be true with J.T. Hellstrom, who returned to GC around 2017 and transformed into a horrific domestic abuser. Any soap opera, including Y&R, frequently changes a character's personality for shock effect or to fit their plot. Actor Connor Floyd, who played Chance, is no longer under contract with a soap opera. The character is hence expendable. It could also indicate an impending departure. There is some fishiness there when you consider that Chance pressed a button for his GCTD return just after Heather passed away, pushing to take on her case as well. Chance investigated every possibility when Phyllis Summers staged her death, even in the face of overwhelming proof suggesting Diane Abbott was responsible. He seemed to be accepting everything at face value in this case, particularly Sharon's recent admission that she saw Heather the night before she passed away and that the woman claimed to have gotten into a fight with Daniel. He seemed suspicious because he almost immediately gave Sharon a pass. Given that he is dating Summer Newman and has ties to Daniel and Heather's family, it is even more suspect that he is permitted to take the lead on the case. The former Chance would have removed himself from the investigation right away. On social media, the majority of fans have noted that Chance's involvement in this matter is a serious conflict. Then there is the reference to Chance's previous relationship with Heather, which the department ought to view as a conflict as well. After reading through the Y and R history books, Chance dated Heather before she went on to Daniel. Is it possible that Chance harbored resentment toward this entire situation? Although it seems highly unlikely that Chance killed Heather, this kind of plot would allow for an escape. Additionally, it's the least likely thing for a fan to suspect the person behind a whodunit. Like they did for JT when it was revealed that he had a brain tumor, the Y and R could come up with an explanation for Chance's personality change. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.